praise the Lord. Before we start praising Jesus, let's pray first. So let's fold our hands. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for guiding us throughout our day. Thank you that today we can come here and we can uh, join this ministry. Now we're going to start our ministry. We're going to praise your name. We're going to worship you. We're going to learn something new about you today. May you guide us throughout this ministry, throughout the service. May you be here with us. And we know, Lord, that you are going to speak something new into our lives. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, everyone that is ready to praise Jesus, say, Amen. Are you ready to jump, jump, jump with us? We are going to give our best, so let's jump as high as we can. Let's walk together first. Are you ready to jump? Let's dance together. One, two, three. Jump, jump, jump into the light, light, light. Run, run, run away from what's not.
Now let's stand up and we'll praise Jesus together and sing this song. Come on! Conform to the pattern of this world But be transformed by the renewing of your mind Then you'll be able to test and approve What God's will is Do not conform to the pattern of this world But be transformed by the renewing of your mind Then you'll be able to test and approve What God's will is It's good Pleasing and perfect will is good. Pleasing and perfect will is good. Pleasing and perfect will is good. Pleasing and perfect will. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. Wow, finally we go back to school and yeah, um, this last holiday I went to out of the town with my family and uh, uh, we went traveling and also we went into uh, beautiful hotels and we swim and then we ate uh, dinner together. Hmm, it's so much fun. Yeah. Where did you go last holiday, Olive? Mm. Last holiday, I didn't go anywhere. I just spent some time with my family. I hang out with my friends. We played together. We didn't actually go out of town, but the holiday was very enjoyable. It was fun. Ah, oh, it sounds exciting. Um, how about we play games here with our friends? Come on, yes. I prefer a game for all of us. The game is called Fill in the Song. So there will be a song lyric and some missing parts on it. And all we have to do is to fill in the missing parts with the correct word. So let's try. Okay, so we have the first question. First question. Okay, let me read it for you. Jesus lives in my heart. Jesus lives in my soul. Every day of my life, your love ah. is blah, blah, blah. I think I know this song. Yeah, it's very popular. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess that everyone here can guess the answer. How about we sing it together, okay? Okay, let's try to sing it together. Okay, one, two, three. Jesus lives in my heart. Jesus lives in my soul. Every day of my life, your love is overflows. Yeah, the answer is overflows. Good okay. job, guys. Okay, okay. next I have the question. Second question. Ooh. Mm, I you know will wait, will wait for you alone. You will mm. blah, 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 me and bring na, na, me na, na, new hope. Na, 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 na. Mm. Do you know this song? Let me hear you. Okay, say it louder. Mm. I think the missing part is the title of the song. So what's the title of the song? Mm, the answer is... Elevate! Yes! I will wait, will wait for you alone. You will elevate, elevate me and bring me you home. Yeah, that's ah. correct. Good job, guys. Okay, I think everybody here is pretty smart. Okay, okay so okay. how about this we go to the third? This one is quite easy. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the third question. Mm, no, no more, more fear. fear. No, no more. No more what? Ah. Jesus by my side. Do you know the answer? I knew it. Okay, no try. more fear. No more stop. Is yeah. it stop? Yeah, it is stop. Okay, that's correct. No more fear. No more no doubt. doubt. Jesus Just by, by my, my side. side. Yeah, that's right. Oh, good job. Okay, move next to the one. next question. Mm, when I'm sad, you cheer me up. And then, because Jesus, you are the source of my... Mm. 
Um, do you know the answer, guys? I know. Oh, this one. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. When I'm sad, you cheer me up. Cause, Cause Jesus, you're source of my Ah, joy. yes, joy. Oh, wow. yeah, okay. joy. <laughs> nice. Okay. okay, next question. Okay, next question. When I do the right, you love me. But when I do the wrong, you still love me. Wow. Lord, you are my... Hmm. Do you know this song? Is the... The answer is the title of the song? I think yes. Mm. Oh, let, let's try to sing it together. Okay. When I do the right, you love me. But, but when, when I, I do, do the wrong, the wrong you, you still, still love me. Lord, you, you are, are my... Oh, this do you know? You I are know. my favorite hiding place. Yes, that's right. Lord, you are my favorite, favorite hiding, hiding place. place. Yeah. Ah, it's easy. Okay. Okay, next one. You never stop, you never stop. You make me blah, blah, blah and walk. So that's the two words for the yep. answer. Two words. You make me something and then walk. You mm. never stop, you never stop. You make me... You oh. make me... I give it to the clue. What we are doing now? Oh, no, 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 no. This one. From sit. Yes. Mm. Mm. You never stop, you never stop. You make me... Stand up and walk. Yes, the answer is stand up. That's nice. Okay. Okay, you have loved me. And I think this is the last okay. question. Yeah. Give it your best shot, guys. You have loved me as I am. You have washed me away my sins. You have always, uh, you have washed away you my sins. You have loved me as I am. You have washed away my sins. Jesus. Okay, ah. that was an easy one. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's all for the game. Do you enjoy the game? Yeah, I really enjoyed the game. It was fun. Um, and everybody here is good job. Yes, good job, guys. Oh, but wait, I still have one more game for us. Okay. Look here, I bring a ball. This is a gift from my father. And do you want to play this ball? Okay, I, I try I can play this ball, okay? Okay, yeah, wait. Slowly, okay, okay? Slowly, slowly. Okay, slowly. Okay, okay. Okay. Give it back. Oh. Okay. Okay, nice guy. Again. Nice oh, no. Okay. Okay. Slowly, Olive, slowly. slowly. Huh. Okay. One more time. Uh. Oh, no. <gasps> Olive, the ball. <gasps> hey! The ball is landed in the, the house next door. The owner of the next Whose house. Whose ball is this? Is very my face is broken. And he likes and to my home is a mess. <gasps> Oh no! Oh, I know, I know. Let's just play another okay, okay. game. Watch so out wherever you are. Oh, paper scissors. Hey, kids. Oh, hi. Do you know whose ball is this? Uh, we're just playing here, so we don't know whose ball is that, sir. Because of this ball, my face is broken and my house is a mess. If I know. If I know whoever has this ball, I will punish them. I will punish the owner. Uh, yeah. And you still don't know? Yeah, we don't know, sir. Don't know, sir. Okay. Guys, do you know whose ball is this? Okay, fine. If no one knows, and once I know the owner of this ball, I will punish them as severely as possible. Watch out, you. Oh, that was oh. tense. That mystery is very scary. Um. Oh, no. Wait, let me pray first. Yeah, I know. Now, now I know, know that mystery is very scary. My heart is not feeling the peace. I feel I'm not good enough. Oh. Because... We don't tell the truth to the owner. Oh my mm, God. But, but if we do but, not lie, but if we tell the truth, we might be scolded and punished. And 
That will be bad if mom finds out. We will get scolded too. Yeah, that's right. If the missus tells you your mom, and then your mom will get mad with us, and then she will scold us. <gasps> oh no! Mm, I know. Like bad. Everything is bad options here. But what should we do now? Kids, do you have any suggestion for us? What should we do? Ah, uh, our friends said we need to ask to our Miss Eagle Kids. How about we ask to Miss Eagle Kids now, okay? Okay, I agree. Let's try. Okay, let's go. Hmm, what do you think, friends? Should they be honest or should they lie? What we have to remember is that God loves people that are honest, that tell the truth. Even if we maybe did a mistake or we did something that we're not supposed to do, but we have to tell the truth because that's what God has taught us. Even though uh, we may be young, maybe we don't know a lot, but let's ask God to come into our lives, to be in our hearts so that we can learn more from Him, we can serve Him, we can love Him even more. Let's sing this worship, let's sing this song together. Let's put our hand on our hearts and let's sing this song. I want to know you, Lord. You are a great big God. I'm young and do not know a lot. Come and be my all. I want to love you more, giving you my life and all. You died for me, you sacrificed. I won't forget you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I grow up knowing you. I love you, Jesus. I grow up serving you. I love you, Jesus. My life is saved by you. I'll never forget, never forget. I grow up loving you. Let's sing this from the beginning. If you remember the lyrics, you can close your eyes. I want to know you, Lord. You are a great big God. I'm young and do not know a lot. Come and be my all. I want to love you more, giving you my life and all. You die for me, you sacrifice. I won't forget you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I grow up knowing you. I love you, Jesus. I grow up serving you. I love you, Jesus. My life is saved by you. I'll never forget, never forget I grow up loving you I love you, Jesus I grow up knowing you I love you, Jesus I grow up serving you I love you, Jesus My life is saved you I'll never forget never forget I grow up loving you died for us you have given your life so that we can live say thank you jesus thank you
One more time, I'll never forget, never forget. I grow up in you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You you are always in our lives. You give you gave us your life so that you so that we can live. Thank you, Jesus. Now we're going to listen to some of your words, some of your Scripture for us, may you open our hearts, open our ears, open our minds, Lord, so that we can receive something new for you. We believe that you are going to speak something new into us, and today we are going to become a new person because of you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And we are ready to listen to your words. Everyone that is ready to listen to God's words, say, Amen. Hello, Eagle Kids! It's great to see you again today. How are you doing? I hope you're doing all good. And I'm so grateful because today, right now, you're listening to God's special message about honesty. What is honesty? Honesty comes from the word honest. We're being honest. And when you have honesty, you will always say the truth no matter what, even though sometimes it's hard to say the truth, okay? Simple example, just a simple one. I have three papers with me. You can see the colors, right? Red, yellow, and green. Now, pay attention to what I'm about to say and what I'm about to show. Let me take this one. And I say, hey, guys, look, this is a very nice yellow paper. Yellow. And this is a very nice green paper. And it's a very pretty red one. Okay, what's odd about something that I just said? I didn't say the true colors of the papers, right? I said it's green. And I said it's red. No, being honest or being true means when we say it's red, we say red. When we see it's yellow, we say yellow. And when we see green, we also say it's green. We don't lie and say it's blue or red, right? And sometimes it's pretty hard to say the truth, especially when we are trying to hide something like hiding our bad grades when we had a test at school and our score wasn't really good and I don't want to show my bad score to my mom. I just want to hide it under my bed or under my pillow. Oh no, that, it, that also means that we're not honest. Okay guys, and I'm going to tell you three reasons of why is it important for us to have honesty. Why is it important for us to be honest? Okay, the first one is because honesty praises God. What does it mean, Miss Abigail? Honesty praises God. It means it is pleasing to God. Okay, so once I was a teacher, when I was still a teacher, I had, I found out that one of my students lied to me. It made me very sad, okay? I knew that this student, let's say student A, was lying about something. And then I asked him again, and then he confessed. But later after that, his friend, let's say student B, was telling me the truth. She was so sweet and, telling, and told me the truth. Miss Abigail, what really happened was this and this and that. And that pleased me so much. That makes me even like her even more. I loved that. Um, I think she was being so kind, so sweet. And you know what? 
The same thing goes with God, with us and God. When we can be honest, it causes an intimate relationship between us and God. God is so pleased, God is so happy, and He loves when we're being honest. Just like Proverbs 23, verse 16 says, My inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak what's right. Okay, um, I have a story. Let's listen to it for a while. One day, the Lord told Moses to explore the land of Canaan before the Israelites enter it. So Moses sent 12 spies from the leaders of Israel, including Hosea, son of Nun, he is called Joshua, and Caleb, son of Shevineh. They went up and explored the land for 40 days. They saw great and giant grapes were produced in the land of Canaan. They also saw people like giants who were from the land. After 40 days, they returned from exploring the land, bringing the giant grapes to be shown to Moses and the people of Israel. They came back and reported to Moses and the whole Israelite community. Ten of the spies say that even though the land was flowed with milk and honey, the people who lived there were powerful and cities were fortified and very large. They also say that the people of Canaan will attack anyone who goes to live there and that the spies seemed like grasshoppers compared to the giant people of Canaan. The ten spies exaggerated the story they told. They spread it a bad and scary report instead of plain truth. Therefore, the Israelites became scared and worried that they couldn't defeat the people of Canaan. However, the other two spies, Joshua and Caleb, calmed the people down. They were telling the truth without exaggerating. They said that the land was very good, and even though the Canaanites were giants, the Lord is with them, and that if the Lord is pleased with them, He will lead the Israelites into that land. Okay, from the story that we just heard, we shouldn't be exaggerating like the ten spies, right? We should be just like Joshua and Caleb, who said the truth, the plain truth, and it doesn't cause any bad consequences to other people that hear it, okay? People of Israel believed their lies, and that wasn't really good. So they did the will of God. They said what was honest. And other than that, the second point today, honesty brings peace into our hearts. Why is that so? Why does honesty bring peace into our hearts, okay? Do you ever feel anxious when you are hiding something, when you're trying to hide something, like uh, my example before, when you, hide to, uh, when you try to hide your bad grades, for example, or when you lie to someone and you're afraid that that person will know that you are lying, we will feel anxious, right? I have an illustration about it. Let's hear it out. A girl named Chacha loves her mother so much. Her mom will have a birthday in the next two weeks. So Chacha wants to give a special gift. However, her money is not enough to buy a nice wallet that she wants to buy for her mom. It can only afford a simple birthday cake. Therefore, Chacha is trying to figure out a way for her to get extra money. A few days later, on Chacha's way back home, she found a wallet on the street. Chacha didn't see anyone around and she brought the wallet with her. After she got home, Checha immediately went into her room. When she opened up the wallet, she was surprised of the amount of money in it. She thought the money could get her a new wallet as her mom's birthday gift. Checha then hid the wallet she found in her wardrobe. Chacha became very anxious for the rest of the day. Her mom thought she was sick, but Chacha said she was all good. She came back to her room at night, and her heart was not at peace. She's thinking of giving the wallet back. 
or just use the money to buy her mom a lovely gift. Chacha then decided to pray and ask God what to do. Suddenly, she remembered the Bible first she heard in Eagle Get Service about Proverbs 3, verse 32 that says, The Lord blesses the honest. Chacha doesn't want to upset God and prevent God from blessing her. So she finally decided to give the wallet away and just buy a birthday cake for her mom. The next day at school, Chacha gave the wallet to her teacher to find its owner. Sometime later, the owner was very glad and grateful of having it back. Okay, from the story that we just, we just heard, why do you think did Chacha feel so anxious? She was scared, right? Her peace was stolen from her heart. She didn't feel secure. It was because she did not tell the truth. And actually, she did something that's bad, which is stealing. She stole the wallet. If you take something that's not belong to you, and then you, didn't, you don't tell it to anyone, you just keep it and hit it to yourself, that's called stealing. Same thing like being dishonest. That is too bad. That's not so good, okay? But thankfully... God, the Holy Spirit, reminded her. She opened up her Bible. She remembered about that Bible first, about honesty, that God blesses those who are honest. And then her peace came back. She chose to be brave to tell the truth. She chose to be brave to do what's right. She chose honesty. So honesty doesn't, always, uh, doesn't um, only bring peacefulness to our hearts, but it leads us to our third point. Honesty avoids us from bad consequences. Can you imagine what would happen to Chacha if she keeps that wallet to herself? Worst thing is she could get caught by a police officer if a police officer found out, right? So honesty avoids us from bad consequences because when we are not honest, it's a sure thing that we will regret it. There must be bad consequences that will happen to us. There will be consequences that we have to, po to pay. Um, the, on the other hand, Remember that God blesses the honest. If we choose to stay honest, if we choose to always say the plain truth, remember, green is green, don't say it's red, then God will bless us. God will reward us because He is pleased. He's happy. He wants us to always be honest, not only to others, but also to God and to ourselves. Okay? God will reward our honesty. And to close this session, let me tell you the big message of today. Okay? It's about saying the truth. Can you all stand up and follow me? Follow my movement? Ready? Say, I will tell the truth. Very good. One more time, okay? I will tell the truth. Yay! Very good, guys. Remember those three points, okay? Let us always say the truth no matter what no matter the consequences, because we love God and we want to please God at all times. All right, now, if starting today, you want to be more honest, you want to have honesty in your heart, you don't want to say lies, you always want to tell the truth with your lips, let's stand up and raise your hand. Let's pray together with me. Follow me in prayer, okay? Lord Jesus... Thank you for today's message. I learned about honesty. I want to be honest. I will always say the truth. Thank you, Jesus, for reminding me. I love you so much. 
Okay, guys, let's raise up your hands and I will give blessings to you. Lord Jesus, I know you are blessing these children. Guys, children, you, starting today, God is granting you lips and tongue of truthfulness. You are an honest child. You are a faithful child, faithful with everything that God has given you and faithful too in everything that you say. You will choose to say the truth. You are brave to be different and be honest when the others are dishonest and when the others are not um, choosing to say the truth. God is granting you a Holy Spirit, a sweet, sweet spirit in your heart to always remind you to choose what's right. God is granting you the spirit to always hear, to be able to listen to his voice and choose the truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing us. We will remember to be an honest kid starting today. In Jesus' name, we all pray and everybody say Amen. Okay, great job, kids. I know you'll be an honest kid, okay? See you next time. Bye-bye. Like what I said earlier, we need to say the truth to the owner of the house next door so that we can make our heart at ease. Um, we keep saying the truth though we might get scolded, punished, and even we might not get a month's allowance. Mm -hmm. We need to accept all the custom guests. Mm, okay then, I will try to be honest now. No, the owner is coming. Okay, okay. We need to tell the dude, okay? Hey, kids. Hi, sir. Are you still don't know who is the owner of this ball? Uh, well, we want to say that we want to sorry because that was our ball. Mm. And so before uh, we play ball yeah. here, but and, so, and, and yeah, I, I, I and accidentally we threw it uh, into your house. But uh, believe me, it's accident. Oh. So yeah, sorry, sir. Yeah. Because and I also want to say sorry because we don't tell, we didn't tell you the truth before. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So this is your ball. Uh. That's our ball. Yes. Yeah. Why did you guys not admit it at first? Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, we weren't honest before because we were afraid that we might get scolded and punished. 
But now we want to say the truth and uh, we are ready to to, uh, to change your yeah. broken face yeah. with our pocket money. And if you want to punish us, uh, we will accept it. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Nah, that's the right thing to do. If you already confess, I will punish you to clean up my house and the broken faces. And while you clean up my home, I will make you orange juice. The fresh orange juice. Okay? Yes. So oh, we yeah. don't need to change your fast using our money, sir? No. No need. Because I have so many faces in my house. Ah. And now I will go back to my house and make the orange juice for you guys. And you can have this ball after that. Okay? Ah, okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye. Oh, wow. so we don't have to change the face? Yeah, and also the owner of the house next door is not as that grumpy. Uh, as we he's kind, yeah. He's oh. kind of kind. Yeah, yeah. Now, I feel more relief and peace at heart because we have confessed. Mm, it turns out that being honest gives us peace in our heart. And being honest also prevents us from doing bad things like lying. And when we are honest, we please God's heart. I will tell the truth. Come on, let's say it together. I, I will, will tell, tell the, the truth. truth. Wow, how about we go to the Mr's house and then we clean and then we can directly drink the fresh juice he made for us. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yes. Okay, friends, don't forget to join Eagle Kids Service next week and see you. And God bless you. Bye. Bye.